more than the rise and fall of civilization. Within the cycle of creation destruction, there is a moment in time where there is a breach of equilibrium. In the beginning, the forces that cause the building of something are coherent or in a process of crystallization. Similar properties constellate around each other until something manifests over time. From the building of a civilization down to the crystallization of sugar crystals seen in aged honey. Once the equilibrium is breached, however, the bonds of crystallization begin to break and the entire construct falls apart. There were too many dissimilar constituents attempting to latch on to the existing crystalline system, weakening and diluting the bonds holding everything together. The rise and fall of civilization, the rise to fame and subsequent obscurity of a rock band, the blossoming of a love affair into a marriage and the eventual divorce, the maturing of a human embryo into an adult person, and the process of aging and the result of death, all have to do with dissimilar energies or constituents pulling apart the crystallization of a creation. On the other end of the cycle is destruction creation, where new bonds of matching constituents crystallize out of the remnants or building blocks of past creation, such as plant growth from a sea crystallizing around its DNA as it pulls surrounding soil elements into its matrix of equilibrium, or the complex and global process of sourcing and combining of raw materials from far-flung locations to make an iPhone or a car. It's a form of crystallization, a seed idea around which matching and complementary forms become a manufactured item. I'm laying out these basic fundamentals as a way to understand what is happening to human civilization at this momentous instant in history. And I dare say it's much much more than the rise and fall or fall and rise of a mere civilization. We're talking the crystallization of all creation into a coherent whole by all participants in the multiverse. Basically, the human experiment has run its course, and a new permanent equilibrium has been established. New coherence is happening as we, universal participant creators, line up with the original source creator God to create a universal love crystal within which we live immortal lives of infinite love, beauty, compassion, abundance, and freedom. What I call the human experiment is when the Creator created souls in His image with all the powers of the Creator, including the crucial power of choice to create. The power of choice required something to choose between Hence, the experiment of darkness. Let there be light was the Creator's choice in the beginning, and now His creations must let there be light as well. This led to the millions of years of newly created souls remembering how to grapple with such powers, leading to such diversions, distractions, and detours as ego glorification, self-destruction, evil, and other forms of mortality and incarnation. Like a small child throwing a tantrum from not getting what it wants, these newly created souls rebelled against their origins without understanding what they were, incessantly clinging to the darkness, refusing to let there be light, lest they line up with the Father, incorrectly assuming a loss of freedom. Centuries upon centuries in the crucible of experience at last has removed the final vestiges of ignorance, and the Great Awakening revealed the infinite freedom afforded all those who lined up with Source Creator God to create the grand crystallization of universal harmony. You see, the Creator created you to be you, not something you are not. Our error was not letting self be self, assuming freedom was over there somewhere away from where we came from and who and what we are. Just as it's within the sun's basic nature to shine, a soul expresses itself automatically without judgment or limitation as to what it should or shouldn't be. This automatic expression arises from a core of conscious love, and when we choose to allow ourselves to flourish as such, we attract other souls and create a crystal matrix of loving experience 
and live the infinite freedom to be who we are at our core. We are in the time of the restoration of Earth, the restoration of universal harmony, and the restoration of humanity. We are healing the trauma of darkness perpetrated on Earth and humanity, and re-establishing harmonious connections with the multiverse and its myriad inhabitants. Allow the healing. Allow the harmony. Allow you to be you. You have been listening to This Quantum Life by Boyd Martin. Brought to you by the Quantum Health Newsletter from Pure Energy Rx. www.pureenergyrx.com.